Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys some more super easy Dollar Tree DIYs. The ones that I made were specifically for my coffee bar, but you know what? I think they're kind of like multi-purpose, so you can um, change them around in your house or change them around with the seasons. I am collaborating with my lifestyle channel, RSLE Chan. I'm gonna show you guys how to decorate your coffee bar literally using mostly Dollar Tree items. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you do. I will link my channel down below. I would really appreciate if you guys head on over there and showed me some love. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. So this DIY is actually going to be an upcycle. I'm going to go ahead and link the video above so you can see exactly how I made this. This is paint marker and these are stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and take the stickers off and then I'm going to just repaint it. Alright, so I went ahead and painted that black and white to match the neutral that I have going on. And then I also have these decals. So on this one, I'm going to use um, the love part of it. And I'm going to cut as close to the letter as I can because I don't really want these dots. And then I'm also going to be using um, these letters. They only have one F and I need two. They have three E's. So since I need two E's, I'm going to cut one of these E's right down here to look like an F. Well, I was trying to make this look like an end symbol, but it looks like an S because it is an S, so I'm not really sure. Oh, you know what? I might just take that off. Cause then that will look like love and a coffee. So for this one, we're using all Dollar Tree items again. I'm gonna use one of these napkin ring holders, two candle holders, some twine, and then also two of these really awesome platters. And I'm just gonna paint these with my Oops paint. Hide with me, hide with me, hide with me. are gone but I'm still here with wounds on my feet where will you be if I So for this one, I'm going to use three of these Dollar Tree houses. As you can see, I am reusing this one. I'm also going to be using four of these paint stir, stir sticks and I'm also just painting them with my Oops paint. First, I'm going over it with some white paint and then the other one's more of like a um, I don't know, gray, brown type of color, just a really light color. And then using my tacky glue and also hot glue, I'm just going to go ahead and glue the sticks to the sides and I'm going to do two on each side. So two on this side and then flip it over and then two on the other side. Fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way so I haven't seen these letter boards at Dollar Tree, but when I got them, I did get two. I'm just using one of the foam pieces, taking off the frame, and then also you'll use three total boxes of these Jenga blocks. And then as you can see at the bottom, once I kind of set it all up, there was a piece that was like extra and no block pieces fit. So I just went ahead and cut it with my X-Acto knife. So you'll need a total of 80 pieces, and I just went ahead and flipped them on their side and started gluing them. 
So for each set, I'm going to glue four together and I'm going to glue a row of six and then a row of four and you'll see what I mean. So that is it for today folks thank you so much for joining me if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave me a thumbs up leave me any comments down below let me know which one was your favorite DIY don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye